Hey, Christine Faulkner, Elk Grove and Sacramento Living Trust and Estate Lawyer with Kava and Faulkner. Thanks for tuning in to another edition of The Daily with Christine. And today I wanted to bring you an update because I did a, a video about the COVID-19 vaccine. Uh, talking a little bit about the COVID-19 test and when California employers are allowed to or re require an employee to submit to a COVID-19 test. The rules have changed throughout. And so, you know, there's federal requirements and then state requirements. So stay tuned because you're going to learn about the recent uh, Cal OSHA requirements that came into effect on November 30th, 2020, published in Emergency Regulations and uh, what must an, a California employer, um, when they must offer viral testing. So let's get started. Uh, so say you have an employee who has been out and you don't know whether you either even have a right to require or must require a negative test before they return to work. There's been a variety of guidance throughout uh, the pandemic on exactly what employers are can and cannot do. So to add an additional layer of complexity on November 30th, 2020, Cal OSHA published emergency regulations that create a deluge of new obligations and prohibitions on the part of California employer uh, employers. So uh, the emergency regulations include a purported prohibition against employers requiring that employees furnish a negative viral test before returning to work, even if they left work due to uh, positive COVID-19 symptoms. So this regulation um, arguably contradicts earlier guidance and legal standards. And so what is an employer to do? Um, given the stakes for noncompliance with OSHA, which can include very costly penalties in the multiple of thousands of dollars, uh, it is important that you have some sense of what your obligations are, both what you can and cannot do. So when must a California employer offer viral testing? So in addition to prohibiting viral testing in certain circumstances, the Cal OSHA regulations also require that California employers offer COVID-19 testing and California employers must offer COVID-19 testing at no cost to the employees during their working hours who had a potential COVID-19 exposure in the workplace. In the circumstances of a California employer identified at, by a local health department as the location of a COVID-19 outbreak, when there are three or more COVID-19 cases in an exposed workplace within 14 days, the employer shall provide COVID-19 testing to all employees at the exposed workplace, except for employees who were not present during the period of the out outbreak. And in the circumstance of a California employee with 20 or more COVID-19 cases in an, in an exposed workplace within a 30-day period, the employer shall provide twice a week COVID-19 testing or more frequently if recommended by the local health department to all employees present or exposed during the relevant 30-day period and who remain at the workplace. So California employers should note that between uh, November and the end of the year, the emergency regulations defined exposed workplace as any location, work area, or common work area used or accessed by a COVID-19 case during the high-risk period, including bathrooms, walkways, hallways, aisles, break or eating areas, and waiting areas. Cal OSHA frequently asked questions regarding the emergency regulations also provide some guidance. 
So here is a question. What is an exposed workplace and how should an employer determine which work areas should be included? An exposed workplace is a work location, work area or common area used and accessed by a COVID-19 case during the high risk period, including those areas described, bathrooms, walkways, hallways, aisles, break or eating areas and waiting areas. If within 14 days, three COVID-19 cases share the same exposed workplace, then the multiple COVID-19 infections and COVID-19 outbreak standards applies and additional testing will be required. Does the exposed workplace mean the ex entire workplace? And does this change after January 1st, 2021, when 8685 goes into effect? No, the exposed workplace includes only the areas of the building where the COVID-19 cases were present during the high-risk exposure period. This will not change after January 1st, 2021. Is the testing requirement for outbreaks triggered by three or more cases in an entire building? No, the testing requirement is triggered by three or more cases in a 14-day period in the same exposed workplace doing, during the high-risk period. For those areas of the workplace following the requirements for employees who are exposed to COVID-19 cases, When may California employers require viral testing? The EEOC guidance clarifies that an employer, may, an employer may require specific employees to submit to viral testing as a condition of entering the workforce, although the Americans with Disability Act, the ADA, for short, requires the employer to have a reasonable belief based on objective evidence that this person might have the disease. The United States Department of Labor, July 20th, 2020 guidance suggests that where an employee is concerned about a self-quarantined employee returning to work too soon and potentially exposing other staff to COVID-19, a company may require an employee who knows he has interacted with a COVID infected person to telework or take a leave until he has personally tested negative for COVID-19. Obviously this implies they have to take a COVID test and come back with a negative result. This guidance, however, directly conflicts with the more recent Cal OSHA emergency regulations that expressly prohibit California employers from requiring employees to provide a negative viral test before returning to the workforce. California employees should therefore conform to the Cal OSHA standard in the face of the discrepancy. It's interesting because in the law, federal law generally preempts uh, state law, which is exactly the opposite of uh, what the guidance is here. So interesting um, to, to think about that and really have a clear understanding of ex exactly what you should be required to do and not have a, not put yourself at risk for a lawsuit. Cal OSHA uh, prohibits requiring viral testing um, in order for an employee to return to work. And employers who have adopted a policy requiring a negative viral test, test or successive tests now face the prospect of a Cal OSHA citation from OSHA compliance officers and or claims of retalia retaliation by employees unless that policy or practice is changed. California employers cannot requ require employees to submit to viral testing as a condition for allowing employees to take protected leave, um, either under the Families First Coronavirus Relief, Relief Act or the Supplemental Paid Sick Leave Act. This is an evolving area of the law. 
So employers do need to stay apprised of new developments. Uh, I will continue keeping you updated on these matters as they, the law evolves over time. Uh, as a California employer, I too am uh, concerned and want to make sure I'm complying with the law, uh, not stepping out of bounds, certainly don't want to get hit with an OSHA citation, um, but want to make sure that we are doing everything within our power to keep our employees safe, as well as members of the general public who may step foot into our building. And I'm sure that you wish to do the same. So thanks for tuning in to another edition of The Daily with Christine. Subscribe to our channel if you like our content, like our videos, and let us know what you'd like to hear about. Take care and we'll see you next time.